We on? All right. Hey, everybody. This is Christopher Ballmer, Perfect Light Camera and Supply. Um, this is for the people that are going to the Redfish workshop with us there this year in Redfish, Idaho at the lake. I'm um, just going to go a quick rundown of what I'm going to take with me so that you have an idea of what you need as well. First of all, remember, we're going to meet at 10 o'clock in the morning at the main lodge at Redfish Lake Lodge on the 18th of September. Um, I'll already be there. I'll have our van waiting for us. Um, so when you get there, just so you'll know, you'll be riding in our van. Uh, we'll have a 15 passenger, really nice van, plenty of room for everybody, plenty of room for gear. Um, and we'll meet there, like I said, 10 o'clock that morning. I'll see you at the lodge. But let's go through equipment real quick. A um, couple things, you don't have to have these, but I'm going to recommend that you take a macro lens. There's tons of little tiny stuff we can shoot that's just beautiful. Um, the one thing that's an absolute must though is a good wide angle lens. The ones I really recommend is either the Tamron, I think it's the 10 to 20, um, uh, the 17 to 35 full frame Tokina or the 11 to 16 Tokina. Great lenses or, or the Canon or Nikon version of the wide angles, but make sure you're clear down at like that 16, 17 millimeters on a full frame, 11, 12 millimeters on a crop frame. You want really wide angle for this. Um, I'm also going to take a 28 300, so my mid-range lens. If you don't have one of these, or if you shoot Canon, you may want to look at one of the longer range Canon lenses, or even maybe look at the Nikon 18 to 300, 28 to 300, or even the new Tamron version is an awesome lens as well, the long range. If you have any questions on that one, call us. Now one thing I don't have sitting on this table is I am going to take my big wildlife lens. We're not there for wildlife, this is primarily a landscape class of course, but there's a good chance of seeing some birds, good chance of maybe seeing some elk and a few other animals, so if you have a bigger zoom lens, take it with you just in case, okay? Uh, the one thing is make sure you have a moose filter or a polarizer, but you know, preferably a moose filter if you have one, uh, for your widest angle lens. This is going to be an absolute must because it's going to be for some of the techniques that we're going to teach you how to shoot. And again, a regular circular polarizer will be fine. I just really am a big fan of the moose filter. I am going to take a small flash with me and a small Gary Fong diffuser for two reasons. So I can either diffuse this flash, or if I'm using a pop-up flash on the camera, diffuse it as well. If you don't have one of these Gary Fong puffers, call us, let us get you one. They're like 20 bucks cheap. Okay, I'm gonna take my little waterproof camera just for fun, cleaning cloths. Make sure you have plenty of memory cards. Make sure they're fast and good quality. Um, I'm gonna take a small hard drive and my computer, of course, of course, and make sure you have a good card reader so that we can download quickly to your computers because we're going to have review of images all the time like at dinner time and even during classroom time during the day. So make sure you have a computer if possible. If not, we can all share mine, but we'll have this as well, a good card reader. Um, and then a, another absolute must, a good tripod. If you guys don't have one of these me photos yet, you need to come see us. Um, like I said, I sold $2,800 in tripods, replaced it with one $200 tripod. Uh, Small, compact, easy to hike, easy to carry around. Good camera strap, make sure you've got a good black rapid strap or something similar. Clothes wise, we need to have a rain jacket, okay, just in case we do get some rain. Uh, make sure you have some other heavier jackets, of course. It can get pretty cold up there uh, that time of year. And uh, it's not too bad, usually crisp, cold mornings, pretty nice in the afternoons. Um, clothes wise, I take really heavy duty pants, like these cool pants made by Cool, or I take um, uh, the Ranger pants made by, I can't remember who makes those, but a heavy canvas type pant. And then, of course, plenty of shirts, layers. Make sure you got layers. Make sure you have some good gloves, including some fingerless gloves. They're always handy when we're shooting if it's cold in the morning. Now, here's the one thing I'm going to ask you to take. Is I want you to take at least some high rubber boots um, that are completely waterproof, not just hiking boots, but an actual rubber boot, or preferably either some waist high or chest high waders. If you look at those images I just shot, some of those were shot in water and there's some, there's some uh, availability to be able to get in some streams and shoot from the center of the stream and things like that. They come in really handy. If you don't already have a pair, don't spend a lot of money on them. Just go to Cabela's or something and buy some inexpensive ones. Hiking shoes or hiking boots, make sure you've got that. And I just remembered something I stuck in here that I need to show you guys. Also, go get a little water bottle like this. It's a little spritzer bottle. I want you to make sure you have one of these with you. I'll take some extras just in case. But what we use this for is like when we, we'll actually spray like a leaf or something to really enhance it. Great little tool when you're shooting landscape stuff. So that's essentially it, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions at all. You are really going to like this workshop. This one is uh, quite different. We're going to have a lot of classroom time um, in, in, during the day when it's really bright. 
uh, but we'll have a lot of hands-on shooting. We're going to go out and hopefully do a night shoot as well. That's why it's so important to have a good tripod. Do not have a cheap one, you guys. So um, if you have any other questions, call Kate or call myself, and we'll see you on the 18th, 10 o'clock at Redfish Lake Lodge. Have a great day, guys. Thanks. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. I just want to mention one thing else real quick that I forgot to mention. Two little things, actually. Hey, if you didn't make it in the Redfish Lake Lodge um, or Redfish Lake trip this year, the workshop, do not miss next year. We're going to do it at the same time. Call us right away. It's very limited space. We can only usually fit about seven or eight people in this. For the money, and it's, it's a great first trip to go with us. Not only a great first trip, but it's an educational opportunity you should not miss. Um, Harold Klein is going to be with me this year as well. I'm so grateful he's going to be there. But um, we're going to teach you so much hands-on. You'll learn so much in those few days. It's, it's going to be worth every single penny and moment you spend there. And if you've never been there, you have no idea. To me, it's the most beautiful place in Idaho, hands down. It is just a stunning place. I know it very, very well. I spent most of my childhood spending summers there. Um, I'll just show you some beautiful, beautiful, stunning scenery. The second one, check it out. So sign up for that as fast as you can if you get a chance to. The other one is go check out our Yellowstone Symposium if you've not done that. Ask other people that have been around uh, that have been to that already. If you need referrals, we will. You do not want to miss that next year. We have Nikon coming, Canon's coming, Tamron's coming, Black Rapids coming. Uh, we're going to see if we can get Tokina and Sigma there. Uh, we've got some of the biggest names in the industry that are going to be there. They're going to have all the gear to loan you out to take into Yellowstone, and it's going to be the best education you will find anywhere in this country. I promise, as far as photography education. We've got the best of the best. Yeah. These guys will teach you real hands-on experience stuff that you'll absolutely love. So check out our symposium, share this video, let other people know what we're doing. We really appreciate your support and really just appreciate all of you so much. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.